Determination of Sodium Hydroxide and Sodium Carbonate in Alkaline Solution, Volumetric Method. The practical lesson consists of the following section. Objective. Introduction. Materials and Reactants. Methodology. Results. The objective of the practical lesson is to determine the concentration of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate in an alkaline solution. The following materials are required to do the assay. 25 ml burette, support and burette clamps, alkaline problem solution, filter paper, 100 ml Enlermeyer flask, automatic pipette, distilled water, water sample issue. The reactants are the following Chlorhydric acid Phenolphthalein indicator Methyl orange indicator Methodology Measure exactly 10 ml of the alkaline solution problem and take them to a 100 ml Ellenmeyer flask. Then dilute to 50 ml with distilled water. Add out 3 or 4 drops of an ophthalein indicator. The solution will turn red. Then take up the bread to zero with chlorhydric acid solution. Then proceed to titrate with chlorhydric acid the solution until the solution becomes colorless, noting the volume V1. Then add 4 or 5 drops of methyl orange indicator, making now a yellow solution. Then reapply the same acid to achieve the shift from yellow to orange, noting it as volume V2. Results. Prior to performing the calculations required to obtain the contents of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate, it is shown a diagram to indicate and clarify that Volume 1 is the chlorhydric acid used until the change of color of the phenolphthalein corresponds to the evaluation of the hydroxides and more than half of the carbonates. V2 refers to the chlorhydric acid used until the change of color to orange and it only corresponds to the other half of the carbonates. The 
formulas to be applied are the following. 